averages 28 points a game. Each of these teams was last in action two nights ago on the road. The Bucks walloped the Nets in Brooklyn, 144-122. Uh, the Cardiac Cavaliers erased a 20-point deficit in Dallas. The stun Luka Doncic and the Mavs, 113-110. John Michael, Austin Carr, and Serena Winters, thanks so much for joining us here this evening. And here's Jared Allen. Gets a running start. And Lopez in the basket, and he lays it in. And Jared has been on fire lately, doing a good job of doing exactly that, taking the advantages he has. Lopez a little slow, Lopez gets scored on. Two nights ago, Allen scored 24 points, grabbed 23 rebounds, and dished out six assists in Dallas as Middleton fades away and opens the scoring for the Bucks. Well, one thing about the Bucks, they average 125, but they also still haven't forgot about the defensive end of the floor. Bruce is chased by Lillard. He'll stop at the elbow, bounce off to Allen. The Cavs have played through Allen a whole lot over the last couple of weeks. Mitchell, his first shot back in the lineup after missing four games is true. I like the fact that they got him into an isolated position. He took advantage of it. We got a Kumbo between the circle. Allen does draw that initial defensive assignment. Mitchell stays right with Beasley. Beasley has shot the three extremely well this season. That's in and out. Beasley checked in fifth in the league in three-point percentage at north of 46. Ooh, boy. Allen to Struz in the basket. Puts it up. That's goaltending. Lillard picked up by Okoro. He uses an Adetta Kupo screen. He puts it up. That was blocked by Allen, who tracked him down and made the rejection. Gets that weak stuff out of here. Okoro knifes to the basket. Goes to Allen, who runs the floor. And Jared Allen just picks up where he left off in Dallas two nights ago. The difference between the last time this, these two teams looked, the Cavs didn't move the ball as well as they're moving it now. And you can tell they're not used to that. Take advantage of it while you have a chance. That 2020 in Dallas was Allen's fourth of his career, his second as a Cav. Middleton finds Giannis. Giannis to the basket. He lays it in. Then Kupo, two nights ago in Brooklyn, scored 32 points, grabbed 10 rebounds, and dished out eight assists as Mitchell and Corks a three. The scary part is that that's just about average for Giannis on a nightly basis. Yes. Giannis hit toward Allen. Puts it up. Allen fought him the whole way. Again, he's going to have to be careful. Serena detailed it in terms of picking up those fouls. As Giannis is adept at drawing personals. As here's Allen on this set. Hands off to Mitchell. Back it goes to Jared. Allen toward the basket. Jump stops and scores. And that's what it's all about. They, they move the ball, they get out of into a one-on-one -on -one situation, and he uses his skill to get to the hoop. Jared's confidence appears to be at an all-time high. Playing a skilled brand of basketball with three minutes in. 10 4 the Cavalier lead. Lopez got loose inside. Yeah, both teams are playing at a high level real early in the game. A lot of intensity, you can feel it. Beasley brings his body in front of him. Allen looking for Struce back door. Lopez with the block. Lopez entered action second in the league in blocks per game. As Struce got it back, he gets it once more in the corner. The crowd appreciates the hustle. Back to Mitchell for a catch and shoot three. Giannis with the rebound. Cavs getting the looks they want. They got to knock him down. And a Gumbo downhill is a problem, but he missed the dunk. Akoro races the other way. Akoro to the basket, puts it up, and draws the foul. He has to stop him before he gets that down his feet, or Allen will get an early foul throw. The Cavs going to make the buck play over the top of them as Lillard got squeezed by both Akoro and Allen. He commits the turnover. Struce is open. Struce fires. Allen, another offensive rebound. Back to Struce. That ball ends up out of bounds. Jared Allen kept that possession in Chicago. He has been a menace on the offensive glass as Mitchell is chased by Lillard. He's an Allen screen. He'll take a foul line jumper and can it. If they're gonna let him do that, because Lopez giving it to Ben Taylor. Well, when you get the shot blocked, a lot of things are not right <laughs> in the world. <laughs> You want to find something to argue about. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. <laughs> that can't happen. No. Giannis wins the tip. He bats it back to Middleton. Middleton feeds off to Beasley. Beasley, a free agent pickup. We mentioned he has been tripping from behind the line this season. Well, as they go through it, the Cavs have to be careful with that. Allen knocks it down. Jared Allen this season on jump shots is shooting 58%. When you look at 
third in the league in field goal percentage. This isn't the guy who just dunks and has tippins all night long. Beasley again. It's his second straight. Yeah, you, you can tell, again, the Cavs are concentrating on the main guys, and it's the auxiliary guys that you have to be careful with also on this team now. It was Beasley who played the open fifth and final starting spot as another cool jumper <laughs> by Jared Allen goes down. Wear him out, big fella. If he doesn't want to step out, you make him pay. Beasley split last season between Utah and the Lakers. Here he is again, chased by Mitchell, and we have an illegal screen. Drawing opposing centers away from that basket with his three-point threat as Wade goes back door. That's a race by Lopez, and that's a big reason why he likes to be right there. <laughs> All he has to do is reach up because he's, he's not a leaper, but he's a nice timer with the block shot. That's his second in his first quarter. Beasley, Coro made him shake one off to Lillard for three. The weak side rebounds tipped by Allen. He kept Bobby Portis off the glass as Portis and Notre Dame alum Pat Connaughton objected for the Bucks. The Cavs doing a good job of contesting shots so far. Harris Levert, who's fifth in the NBA in bench scoring. Wow. Lillard chased by Allen on the switch, deals to Connaughton. Connaughton hits the corner three. He's been trying to get himself on track. I talked to him before the game, a fellow Notre Dame guy. And That's it, what did it. And, 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 and I shouldn't have said you got anything. Got it back to on him. track. <laughs> he said, "Let me shake your hand. I want to feel all that good That's shooting." What, what I, mean. <laughs> I shouldn't have shook his hand. <laughs> Allen to the basket. A good pump bag guy Lopez to hesitate. Allen is off to a brilliant start. He's seven for seven from the field for 14 points. Steal by Struce. Showtime. Yes, the Cavaliers again. Very alert on the defensive end of the floor. They catch the Bucks sleeping. And Struce does a good job of throwing the hammer down. Over the last six games, you've seen it. The energy has been palpable. They've just had an extra jump. Yes. Had the Cavs from opening horn to final whistle. Lillard chased by Coro around a moving Lopez screen as a 15-footer, an 18-footer, I should say, by Lillard is good as a Coro marks an official Andy Nagy. Well, one of their main goals and one of their main weapons is the fact that you have to play them tough for 48 minutes because they will never stop scoring. Levert had a team high 29 points two nights ago in Dallas. He also added seven assists as that ball started the last four games in the absence of Donovan Mitchell has checked in. He's been nothing sport, short of spectacular as Porter's mid-range jumper doesn't go. Porter had 12 rebounds in Dallas two nights ago as Wade's open. Off the shot clock it goes. And the opportunities will be there for Wade because of the way they're defending, they're giving him opportunities. Giannis, and that's a travel. Giannis turned his back. He thought Connaughton would shoot that ball. Yeah, well, he came off like he... Allen hands off to Mitchell. Mitchell's chased by Lillard. Well, you want to make Damian work on this end as Mitchell oh, puts it up and in. He won't get continuation, however. And the Cavs roared from behind. Giannis twirls, deals to Lillard. Lillard, catch and shoot. He does not miss many of those. Well, he's, he's their savior. He's the guy that they're going to pass it to. When the Cavs play good defense, they had to have somebody for an outlet. Allen banks it in every which way for Jared Allen, who's now eight for eight in this first quarter. When in doubt, shoot it to the square. <laughs> Connaughton from the corner off the Giannis feed. Knew he missed it. And then a Kupo with a side rebound. He'll dunk. Yeah, he's a bad man. He's a tough man to handle there, boy. But again, Cavs doing a good job so far of making him earn his basket. Giannis finished third in MVP voting just a season ago. He was fifth in scoring, third in rebounds last year. And the bird is chased by Connaughton. Portis collects the easy rebound. He'll give to Giannis. Giannis again, try to meet him up high as Portis steps into a three. Levert bats at it, so does Connaughton. Connaughton was able to work it off the boat champ. He'll twirl and score. Yeah, second chance opportunities. Gotta be careful with those. Get that body on the person and stay with him. Under two to go in this first quarter as Lillard has just picked up his second. This has to move. What a move by Mitchell as Mitchell gets to the basket and lays it in. Mitchell has six first quarter points in his return. This is not the first time.